Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do a summary on 2D triangles. Now before we continue you need to know the three basic rules. The three basic rules is the sin rule, the cos rule and the area rule. Now the area rule states half AB sin C would give us the area of a triangle. When would we use these three rules? We would usually use these three rules when the triangle given is not a 90 degree triangle. However, these rules do work on 90 degree triangles as well. Now for an area rule, it's half AB sin C. The best way to remember it is that you need the three letters to be able to do the area rule. So if I'm given A and I'm given B, then I must be having C. So you've got A, B, C, the three letters. It's working with side, angle, side. If you have side, angle, side in the triangle, then you can use the area rule. The second rule we have is the sin rule. Now the sin rule, the best way to remember it is to have a set. What does that mean? If I'm given a triangle, again let's make it ABC. The sin rule says sin A over A is equal to sin B over B, which is equal to sin C over C. When we're using the sin rule, it can also change into A over sin A, which is equal to B over sin B, which is equal to C over sin C. Now, to make your algebra easier, when you're using this rule, if you're solving for an angle, then let the angle be on top. But if you're solving for a side, then let the side be on top. Now, when I'm talking of a set, what do I mean? If this is A and this is small a, remember angle A opposite would be a small a which is called side A. This is B, opposite is side B and C is side C. When you have a set, if you look at the information and you see A, I've got an angle and a side that's matching, then you can use the sin rule. Now the last one is the cos rule. The cos rule is A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. What you must remember is that the side is always linked to the angle. If you're going to use the cos rule, again you must look for the three letters. When you are using the cos rule, it would work with side angle side or it could work with side side side. If I'm working with angle A, then you'd have side C and side B. But look, I have the three alphabets A, B, C. Or if you are given a triangle, and you are given the three sides, then you can also use the cos rule. And look again, the three alphabets, A, B, C. So an easy way to remember when to use the cos rule is when you are given the three alphabets. Now, you would use the sin rule and cos rule based on the information that you are given. You would use the area rule when they are asking you to calculate the area. So don't just randomly look and decide, oh, I'm just using the sin rule, I'm just using the cos rule. It has to be based on the information that you are given. Let's take the following example. From the top of the building, the angle of depression to a near tower is 19 degrees. So you have the top of the building here, and this is a tower. Because they're telling us from the top of the building, the angle of depression is 90 degrees. Going down, that's the angle of depression. Then they're telling us that the angle of elevation is 25 degrees. The height of the tower is 25 meters. Calculate how far apart are the two buildings. Now they want to know what is this length. So we know that the tower is 25 meters. Now if we take this line here, 
with the building it will be, it will be perpendicular to the building so if we have a triangle and I have that this is 25 degrees this is 90 degrees what would this angle be if we mark it a b c then I'm going to have that angle a is going to equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 25 degrees remember when you are doing this kind of triangles the best thing you can do for yourself is to solve as many angles of a triangle as you can because once you have angles after that it's easy to see the work so we have that angle a is equal to 65 degrees now doing the same thing with the bottom triangle we again have that that is 90 we have this is 19 what would angle c1 equal to angle c1 is going to equal to 180 degrees minus 19 degrees minus 90 degrees which would equal to 71 degrees so we have that c1 is equal to 71 degrees now let's take the entire triangle as a whole this complete angle is 25 plus 19 which is equal to 44 degrees why would that be relevant why would I want that value because the only length we have is this 25 now we also have that this is 71 degrees and we have that this is 65 degrees look at the information you have a set we can now use it to calculate the length of BC why would I want to calculate the length of BC if we calculating the length of BC then I can use that information to calculate the length of the distance between the two buildings right so we have I want to calculate a side so I'm going to say a side if I've got A, C, B, I'm going to say side A over sin A is equal to B over sin B. We don't have A, we have that sin A is 65. We have B is 25 over sin of 44 degrees. Solve for A by multiplying of sin by multiplying sin 65 multiply sin 65 use your calculator and we have it as 32,62 so what we have is that BC's length is 32,62 if we take the triangle now we have that BC is 32,62 we have that this angle is 90 degrees and we have that this specific angle is 19 degrees how do we know it's 19 degrees because remember against the building will be 90 degrees one is 71 which would mean that the small angle is 19 degrees so we now have that this is 19 degrees if we want to calculate this angle we'll say 180 minus 19 minus 90 which is equal to 71 degrees now you can use this to calculate the length of DC I now know I have a set so I am going to use the sin rule now when we're using the sin rule because I want to calculate for a side I'm going to start with the sides on top so if this is little b this is little d and this is little c I'm going to have b over sin b is equal to D over sin D substitute the information we have I don't have B but I have sin of 71 degrees is equal to D I have is 32 it is not a degree D I have is 32 comma 62 over sin of 90 now using your algebra rules and your calculator Sin 71 can cancel with sin 71. What you do on one side, you do on the other side. 
So B would equal to 30 comma 8. So how far apart is the two buildings? The distance between the two buildings is going to be 30 comma 8 meters. Thank you for watching.